The history of pharmacy as an independent science dates back to the first third of the 19th century. Before then, pharmacy evolved from antiquity as part of medicine. Prehistoric pharmacy Paleopharmacological studies attest to the use of medicinal plants in prehistory. For example, herbs were discovered in the Shanadar Cave, and remains of the Areca nut in the Spirit Cave. Antiquity Sumerian cuneiform tablets record prescriptions for medicine. Ancient Egyptian pharmacological knowledge was recorded in various papyri such as the Ebers papyrus of 1550 BC, and the Edwin Smith papyrus of the 16th century BC. In ancient Greece, according to Edward Kramers and Glenn Sonnedecker, before, during and after the time of Hippocrates there was a group of experts in medicinal plants. Probably the most important representative of these rhizotomoi was Diocles of Charistus 4th century BC. He is considered to be the source for all Greek pharmacotherapeutic treatises between the time of Theophrastus and Dioscorides. From 60 and 78 AD, the Greek physician Pedanius Dioscorides wrote a five-volume book, De Materia Medica, covering over 600 plants and coining the term Materia Medica. It formed the basis for many medieval texts, and was built upon by many Middle Eastern scientists during the Islamic Golden Age. The earliest known Chinese manual on Materia Medica is the Shenong Ben Sao Jing, the Divine Farmer's Herb Root Classic, dating back to the 1st century AD. It was compiled during the Han Dynasty and was attributed to the mythical Shenong. Earlier literature included lists of prescriptions for specific ailments, exemplified by a manuscript, "'Recipes for 52 Ailments'", found in the Mwangdui, sealed in 168 BC. Further details on Chinese pharmacy can be found in the Pharmacy in China article. The earliest known compilation of medicinal substances in Indian traditional medicine dates to the 3rd or 4th century AD attributed to Sushruta, who is recorded as a physician of the 6th century BC. There is a stone sign for a pharmacy with a tripod, a mortar, and a pestle opposite one for a doctor in the Arcadian Way in Ephesus, Turkey, in Japan, at the end of the Asuka period 538 to 710 and the early Nara period 710 to 794. The men who fulfilled roles similar to those of modern pharmacists were highly respected. The place of pharmacists in society was expressly defined in the Taiho Code 701 and restated in the Yoro Code 718. Ranked positions in the pre heian imperial court were established, and this organizational structure remained largely intact until the Meiji Restoration 1868. In this highly stable hierarchy, the pharmacists—and even pharmacist assistants— were assigned status superior to all others in health-related fields such as physicians and acupuncturists. In the imperial household, the pharmacist was even ranked above the two personal physicians of the emperor. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages <inaudible> Arab world. In Baghdad the first pharmacies, or drug stores, were established in 754, under the Abbasid Caliphate during the Islamic Golden Age. By the 9th century, these pharmacies were state-regulated. The advances made in the Middle East in botany and chemistry led medicine in medieval Islam substantially to develop pharmacology. Muhammad ibn Zakariya Razi raises 865 to 915 for instance acted to promote the medical uses of chemical compounds 
Abu al Qasim al Zarawi pioneered the preparation of medicines by sublimation and distillation. His Liber Servitoris is of particular interest, as it provides the reader with recipes and explains how to prepare the backquote simples from which were compounded the complex drugs then generally used. Saber ibn Sa'l was, however, the first physician to initiate pharmacopoeia, describing a large variety of drugs and remedies for ailments. Al-Biruni wrote one of the most valuable Islamic works on pharmacology entitled Kitab al-Saydala the Book of Drugs, where he gave detailed knowledge of the properties of drugs and outlined the role of pharmacy in the functions and duties of the pharmacist. Ibn Sina Avicenna, too, described no less than 700 preparations, their properties, mode of action and their indications. He devoted in fact a whole volume to simple drugs in the canon of medicine. Of great impact were also the works by al-Maradini of Baghdad and Cairo, and Ibn al-Wavid both of which were printed in Latin more than fifty times, appearing as de Medicini's Universalibus et Particularibus by backquote Mesu the Younger, and the Medicamentus Simplicibus by backquote Abengfit, Peter of Abano translated and added a supplement to the work of al-Maradini under the title de Veneris. al muvafaks contributions in the field are also pioneering. Living in the 10th century, he wrote the foundations of the true properties of remedies, amongst others describing arsenious oxide, and being acquainted with silicic acid. He made clear distinction between sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate, and drew attention to the poisonous nature of copper compounds, especially copper vitriol, and also lead compounds. He also describes the distillation of sea water for drinking. <inaudible> Europe After the 5th century fall of the Western Roman Empire, medicinal knowledge in Europe suffered due to the loss of Greek medicinal texts and a strict adherence to tradition, although an area of southern Italy near Salerno remained under Byzantine control and developed a hospital and medical school, which became famous by the 11th century. In the early 11th century, Salerno scholar Constantinos Africanus translated many Arabic books into Latin, driving a shift from Hippocratic medicine towards a pharmaceutical-driven approach advocated by Galen. In medieval Europe, monks typically did not speak Greek, leaving only Latin texts such as the works of Pliny available until these translations by Constantinos. In addition, Arabic medicine became more widely known due to Muslim Spain. In the 15th century, the printing press spread medicinal textbooks and formularies. The antidotarium was the first printed drug formulary. In Europe, pharmacy like shops began to appear during the 12th century. In 1240 Emperor Frederick II issued a decree by which the physicians and the apothecary's professions were separated. Old pharmacies continue to operate in Dubrovnik, Croatia located inside the Franciscan Monastery, opened in 1317, and one in the town hall square of Tallinn, Estonia dating from at least 1422. The oldest pharmacy is claimed to be set up in 1221 in the church of Santa Maria Novella in Florence, Italy which now houses a perfume museum. The medieval Estive pharmacy, located in Livia, a Catalan enclave close to Pugcedo, is also now a museum dating back to the 15th century, keeping albarallos from the 16th and 17th centuries, old prescription books and antique drugs. The Republic of Venice was the first state with health modern policies which requires that the nature of the drug is public. In actuality, 13 secrets survive which were offered to sale to the Venetian Republic. Topic: <inaudible> Industrialization. The 1800s brought increased technical sophistication. 
By the late 1880s, German dye manufacturers had perfected the purification of individual organic compounds from tar and other mineral sources and had also established rudimentary methods in organic chemical synthesis. See also British Society for the History of Pharmacy History of Medicine History of Pharmacy Automation History of Pharmacy in the United States List of drugs by year of discovery Museum of the History of Lithuanian Medicine and Pharmacy